guys, it's your girl Trini, aka you know me, giving you an update in my bathroom on <laughs> what my plans are. Um, I think I updated you guys the other day on me doing the juice fast, um, going all liquids. I did it. Um, the first time, the first week I started it was fine because I had food in it. Um, the second week when I told you guys about it, I, um, I took the food out and I went completely all fluids and, um, I didn't realize my, um, my nail was dirty. I was cleaning. Okay. Good time to want to clean your fingernail, right? Okay. So yeah, I took the food out and I did went, I went all juicing which was shakes, meal replacement shakes, and straight up juice juicing in my juicer. And as far as the, how did I feel when I did it? I felt fine. I didn't feel hungry. Um, didn't have no hunger pains, no headaches, no nothing like that, which was fine, I think, because I had the help of the V3. So it made it much more easier, much more bearable. Um, I don't know how I could have done it without it. <laughs> um, so it was fine as far as that aspect was concerned. But what my problem came in was, I have the mentality that I can do anything. And meaning, when I say that, I mean, I mean that I felt like, I thought I can still do my regular workouts, which is, if, no, if you guys don't know, I walk in the morning 6 to... Um, six, eight, ten miles in the morning. It all depends on the day and how I feel. Um, and also do the Shalene Extreme during the day. And then on a good day, I go back and walk outside or go to the gym in the evening and walk again. So I was trying to do all of that without eating and just doing fluids. And that didn't work because what happened was I started noticing that after I completed my morning walk, um, I was too weak. I didn't have the energy to to do the rest of the workouts. Um, it was hard. I would come home and sleep. I mean, I was out of it. And um, if I could do the Shalene Extreme, that was good. But not every day I was able to do it. And I sure can do an evening walk. I just wasn't focused. And I, I had low, low energy. I wasn't myself. So I really did notice that I couldn't do all that workout with just doing a juice fast okay so I um, I had an episode that scared me where um, I did it for almost a week and I went to the meat market I did a walk and I was tired like I was normally tired when I come back from my walk when I started the juice fast and I went to the meat market thinking I could just pick up a meat plane and come home because my son said I have to eat and the meat market is right across the street from my house. Now, I live on a main strip, so it's six lanes, three left, three right, you know, on either side, um, to cross over to get to the meat market. And I was in the meat market, but I could barely stand on my two feet. Now, my mind is telling me, oh, just go ahead and get the meat plant and go home, and you can rest then. But even in the meat market, I couldn't even stand up. And my friends was like, oh, you need to go home, you need to go home, you need to go home. And I had to leave everything, and I had to walk away, and I had to come home. And by the time I made it home, I was so weak. All I could do was just strip down and lie down. I couldn't even bathe because I was just so out of it. And, you know, it was no way I could have pulled a meat plant. I bought, I think, I think I bought two or three chicken plants or whatever. Um, it was no way I could have pulled that across six lane on my pull bag. There's no way. Uh, that meat plan would have been pulling me in the middle of the highway. So I realized at that point I had to get off the liquids and I had to give my body some food. And not knowing what I was doing, I have to say, I just jumped off of the liquids into food, which made me even more sick because my body had a reaction to just jumping off of um, liquids and going into solid food. What I can say is that when you're trying to do the people stuff, you need to know exactly what you're doing, when it means going on a liquid and coming off a liquid diet, because I sure didn't educate myself at all. I could be the first one to admit that I didn't. So um, I had a reaction to, like I said, coming off the liquid diet. But 
Um, I will be going back on a liquid diet starting tomorrow for the rest of the year, um, which is not, it's not going to be hard, but the only thing different this time is I would be adding um, a, um, a salad into my day, maybe two if, if needed be, because I know I need to have some kind of energy, uh, food to give me some kind of energy throughout the day. So I will be going back. On, I will be going back on the liquids, fruits and vegetable juicing plus a meal replacement. I'll be juicing together with the juicing and shakes. I will say about seven times a day, together with my water, and I will be adding a salad or two throughout the day. And I will do this throughout the year until January the first or the second when I do my reveal. So hopefully that will work. I mean, it worked before. I don't know why it won't work again. I just need to be more careful this time and know when to stop because I have a problem with knowing when too much is too much. I think I can do it all. And some days I could and some days I can't. And I need to understand being on solid food six, seven times a day versus being on liquid six or seven times a day is completely different. So, you know, you can always learn and I'm learning as I go along. Like I said before, I started the liquid diet. I never did a liquid diet through the whole year and almost a half on my journey. I never did a liquid diet. So this was new to me. Um, what else? Okay, I think, well, that's about it for now. Uh, you won't be seeing me until, well, not me, you know, all of me. So um, next year when I do my reveal, I will not be doing Shirley and Extreme One video. Um, I will just be doing my cardio. So pretty much my... I'll be doing Chilean Extreme, but I'll be doing it in private. <laughs> so my workout pretty much consists of six to, six to ten miles. I'm actually going to try and go back to my ten miles in the morning. Um, I'm going to start about 6 a.m. and do my ten miles in the morning. I walk. I do not run. I keep my heart rate within that burning zone, which is a pace of 3.2 to 3.7 for me. Um, and that's about it. I do not go over that. I will be putting the, um, the icy hot, okay, the icy, uh, this, this is the icy cold. I'll be putting that on my legs together with, uh, hold on, let me get it. Hold on. Okay. So I told you I'll be putting this on my leg. Uh, my friend called me, um, from South Carolina and told me to put icy cold on my leg to stimulate the fat cells. Um, that's the store brand of it. And um, Henromo, for a hemorrhoid preparation age, um, it shrinks fat cells. It helps shrink fat cells when you have hemorrhoids. So I put this on my inner thighs and together with this. And if I don't have this, I still do my um, uh, Arbeline. We gotta come up with some some concoction sometimes and normally I will wear my sauna pants you know but I killed my sauna pants see the hole in my legs this was I mean it's just I just tore this sauna pants to pieces and then the sauna shirt poor have mercy I have I have to retire it because look I mean it got so bad the arm the arm all ripped up oh my god the side up, the side on toe up, the bottom, all the sides, all done ripped up, you know, all under the arm. The, I mean, I <laughs> just toy toy, but they got me a new one today. Um, a new sauna pants, and I will put the Arbeline and stuff, rub it on my legs, and then I will put on my tights, my sports bra, and uh, a tank top, um, a vest, men vest, whatever vest. And then I will put on the um, the sauna suit over it. This is a new one. And then after I put on the sauna suit over it, if I am, whether it be if I'm inside or outside, it doesn't matter. It all depends on the weather. If it's going to be about 50 something, maybe 60 degrees, 65 or whatever, I will put on another sweatsuit over all of this concoction. Um, I like to be warmer, hotter, because I'm, you know, I'm an island girl, I like to be hot, I don't like to be cold, so I'm okay with the layers. Um, coming back, if it gets too hot, I will take off the sauna shirt and just put on my jacket over it. Um, 
But other than that, most of the time I'm okay. And you do hydrate. I definitely will be hydrating. So it's going to pull fluids off of me, but I will be putting fluids back in. So I'm going to be okay. So this is a disclaimer, please. This is what I am doing. I am not telling you to do it. I am saying this is what I am doing. Disclaimer. Hello. Chinyele did not tell you to do it. This is what I am doing. And this is, it has definitely, definitely helped me. So please be careful if you're wearing a sauna suit. Please be mindful that you need to hydrate. Please re-drink. Please put it in. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm telling you what I am doing. So my new sauna outfit for the new year. Um, Walmart have it cheaper for like seven and some change. I just went to Sporting Authority because it's right here. And this is thicker and it lasts longer for me. So other than that, that's pretty much my plan throughout the new year. I would be updating you twice, I mean every other day on my juice fast and stuff to let you know how I'm doing if I'm if I'm changing it up again. Um, but for now, like I said, I'll be juicing about six or seven times a day. I will be drinking my water um, every day and I will be doing salads once to maybe twice a day and um, and that's pretty much it. My multivitamins and all this stuff and... If I can fill in my shilling extreme, I will be doing it. If not, I will restart phase three come January the 1st. And that's pretty much it. So I love you guys. It's your girl Trini. And I will see you in two days. Love you. Today's Wednesday. I think Friday. Okay. Love you. Bye. Peace.